podcast are about 2 o'clock in the morning, between 1 and 2 o'clock. I remember years ago when I first met my husband, Bill, he said marriage to him was just notifying the police that you have a roommate. <laughs> and shortly after our divorce, he said, just because we're divorced doesn't mean we're not still married. Remember when we said we'd stay together now until forever, just us. Just us Said we wouldn't be like all the others Fight and hurt each other Not us, not us But we let each other down, 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 down Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down This shouldn't be everybody I'm so happy to see you today thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi I hope you had a wonderful two weeks and I missed you last week I wasn't able to do a video for you but but yeah I'm here today and I'm so happy to be here and last week I posted a picture of me and Desi in the community section and you guys were so sweet and you left so many wonderful comments about uh, ideas uh, of videos that you wanted me to do for the future. I was so surprised you wanted me to do some videos on how to get started on YouTube and what having a channel is like. And you wanted uh, to see me uh, do some music. You wanted me to uh, go into the studio and play some music and talk about uh, how I write and uh, oh, what else? Um, oh, an apartment tour. So I thought that was so sweet and I, I promise you I'll do every one of your suggestions. They sounded so cool and fun and I will do that. Well, today what I thought would be cool is I was tagged a few months ago by uh, the channel Two Real Chicks and there are so many beautiful content creators that have done this tag and it's called Confessions of a Skincare Addict and it is it's one of the coolest skincare tags ever and it's by Lisa Stevens and she's she's just the bomb when it comes to writing really good tags that, that are really of substance you know, I don't really think I would call my, myself a skincare addict, but what I am is so passionate about skincare, and I always have been. I started to get acne when I was about 10 years old, so from a very early age, I just really wanted good skin, and there were times in my life it just was not in the cards for me. So. Yeah, I, I did a lot of research and I've worked really hard on it and I have some very uh, firm opinions on what I love to use on my skin. I am uh, 63 and a half years old. I uh, basically have oily skin. Uh, I never was in the sun uh, a whole lot, but I did smoke for 40 years. So, uh, you know, I battle a little bit of all adult acne from time to time, but not too much anymore. So that's kind of my history. And the first question of this tag, this expose, is how many products are in your skincare routine? And I'm assuming by this question, th this is narrow narrowing it down to the real pillar products. Not something you might try, you know, or use on a whim, but the pillar products. And so when you count up my day and night products together, you only come up with 11 products. So, you know, I didn't think that was too bad. I didn't think that was too uh, addict-like. <laughs> You know, I was even surprised myself that I only really use 11 products, but without going into detail, uh, I use a glycolic acid cleanser, 
I use a niacinamide for my pores. I use a glycolic mask for tone and clarity. I use a stone crop cream for uh, evenness and uh, firmness and brightness, fading age spots. I use only two carrier oils, my beloved rosehip seed oil, and I use my, ah, <laughs> I use my carrot oil, my carrot oil, and they are uh, two different companies. I use a tea tree retinol vitamin C serum, and I use that day and night. I use an eye gel that I am over the moon about. I use a neck cream that I'm even more over the moon about. I also will use uh, the Neutrogena uh, retinol. I use an alpha hydroxy acid that is made by Eucerin. So that's pretty much what I use. So let's get into the tag. Question number two of the tag is the brand you have the most favorites from. And that would absolutely be Even Naturals. Uh, I just discovered them a couple months ago and I absolutely fell in love with them. They are a boutique company from Louisiana. They spend a lot of time with their formulas. They make very small batches of things, but they're very, very, very powerful products. And so I love Even Naturals and after Even Naturals I probably would say Dell Organics. Uh, the next question is the brand that I like the least. And I would have to say probably The Ordinary. And I've only tried two products from The Ordinary, but I felt that they were overproducing and the pr price point was too low for the product to be of quality. And I tried a couple of their oils and I was really quite horrified because I'm so picky about my oils and I didn't like I didn't like the smell of it I didn't like the texture of it it didn't feel right on my face so no I, I don't care for the ordinary all right the next question up is what brand do I have my eye on that I haven't tried yet and I think that would be probably the Kate Somersville line I would like to try uh, her skincare line someday she has uh, a deep tissue repair night cream that I am fascinated by. It's $150 and it has macadamia nut oil in it, has squalene, and it has hemp oil in it. So, I don't know. I have a lot of fantasies about th that cream and what it might do to me. Um, would it just, I don't know, give me such a buzz that I would just think I looked younger? I don't know, but a hundred and fifty dollars but it does sound really intriguing and it's getting great reviews so maybe someday if i have a hundred and fifty dollars lying around yeah that's on my wish list i i would just like to try four or five products in her line next up the product that gave you the best most visible results and that's a beautiful question isn't it and that's the thing is before I answer is to understand and I'm sure we all do that I'm using 11 products so for me to say my results today are because of product X I don't know that for a fact because it's all these wonderful products working together but every once in a while it's not science, but you start using something and two weeks later you look in the mirror and you go, oh my, oh my, I didn't think this was possible, oh my. <laughs> and I've had a lot of like skin light bulb moments uh, in the last three years. You know, it's hard to really narrow it down. Probably there was four and I know I'm only supposed to have one, but let's just go through four really quickly. And that was when I first started using retinol. It, it, it had a, a smoothing effect on my skin. I was absolutely thrilled. When I first started using rosehip seed oil, the, the tone, the warmth, the softness of my skin, it was like, it was like nothing I had ever seen. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was just like magic. And when I first started 
using the poet's daffodil you know anything that's by the company a cure which is so good but any product that says resurfacing I, I mean I give it a try because that's what I wanted so much more than anything else is the texture of my skin to change and three months after I started using poet's daffodil I could see my cheeks they they just were so much softer and they look so much better and you know here I am you know lamenting about it and then there was like the when I started to combine retinol or retin-a for some of you and vitamin c and tea tree and I was watching uh, Brianna Stanko I believe is her name and she was really promoting you know combine your retinol retin-a with vitamin c and you will be blown away at the progress the plumpness the beauty of your skin and i think she's right that there there is this amazing thing that happens when you uh, mix those products together so i'm probably not really answering this question the way that i should the next question is what product do i use that i think is the very best value and I think that's pretty easy because when you think about something that is going to even your skin tone, help you with firmness, and help with scarring, help with age spots, help with swelling around your eyes, plus knowing that it's free radicals in the air that age us, knowing that we can buy something that is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the world that will help us anti-age yeah I would say facial oils you can usually pick up facial oils for under ten dollars so the best value I'm just holding up my favorites carrot oil and rosehip seed oil to me there is no greater gift and no greater value than facial oils the next question is what product do I use that I think is most worth the splurge? So I guess that's saying what's my most expensive product and do I think it's worth it? And of course, for me it's a new product. It's a, it's a product called Stone Crop Cream and I buy it for $40 and I buy it from a company called Essence and I hope to buy more of the stone crop line from Essence but right now all I can really afford is their cream and I'm over the moon about it 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 is a natural way to fade your age spots but it's so much more than that um, when you think about what stone crop is uh, have you ever seen a beautiful plant that sprouts up uh, in the sand or around rocks there, there's no hydration, hardly any soil, but they're beautiful and they bloom and they hold the moisture. That's stone crop. And it's very expensive to extract uh, the DNA from those plants and transfer uh, that into a cream that we're going to be able to use on our face so we can almost mimic holding that hydration into our skin but that's why I love stone crop I've only been able to find two companies that produce it the last question of the tag is what is the last product you have added to your toolbox for skincare and anti-aging and you know I love my new neck cream I love my pumpkin mask the results are amazing but I think the niacinamide, I don't know if anybody would argue with this, but niacinamide does something to your skin where any type of area where you had really large pores, the longer you use niacinamide, the smaller those pores look. I mean, there's nothing that will shrink our pores, but wow, I get a huge uh size from even naturals and mine is the milky substance not the watery kind but i love it it's a complete game changer so yeah i had so much fun doing this tag and um yeah i i hope um I hope you enjoyed it because I had a riot doing it i could i want i don't want to stop i want to go on and on talking about 
these products that, you know, have changed my life. November 1st will be Bill's 69th birthday. I have no idea if he'll make it that long. November 1st seems like a lifetime away. Praying is easy. Knowing what to pray for is hard. You know, I remember it like it was yesterday, but three and a half years ago when I started my YouTube channel, I was just recovering emotionally from my divorce from Bill, my husband, and you know, I would do videos and I, I would get comments like, you know, I'm worried about you, you seem so sad, and, um, and, and like the second year I would get comments like, you know, hey girlfriend, you got to get over that man, you know, you, you've got to stop with this all this divorce talk, you know, that was years ago, you know, get on with your life and throw away the pictures and you know, and, and they were right, you know, and I, I would always say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about my, my divorce, and I'm gonna throw out the pictures, and I'm gonna be a brand new woman, and, but I think what you did see, especially in this last year, is I didn't throw away the pictures, and I, I didn't stop talking about my marriage. I just, I saw it in, in a different light. And I started to, it was obvious that I became a happier woman and a woman that was, I mean, I never get comments anymore like, gosh, I'm so worried about you. You seem so sad. I never get that anymore. And that's a good thing. I guess my point is, you all know that about six weeks ago, I, I found my ex-husband, Bill, in, in, in hospice uh, at a nursing home. And I visit him every other day, not because I have to or I feel that it's something I, I, sh I should do, but um, I like hanging out with him. And everything that I would have wanted him to say to me, he, he has said. Every apology, every declaration of, of love and the memories that we share of the life we had together, everything that I would have wished I could hear from him, I heard tenfold. So how lucky am I? It's not very often in life we're, we're given a chance to truly say our peace and to say goodbye, and to say goodbye on our terms. And I never in a million years thought I would have a chance to say goodbye in such a loving, complete way. So I think back on my first year on YouTube and, and how I would cry and how I would be so sad and how I missed him so much. And I never thought I would ever see him again. And I don't know. I think it was just meant to be.
we have the best time on our walks and we've got a rabbit that kind of shadows us when we walk and that used to really upset Desi and he'd bark at the rabbit but you know now he does it now it's like the rabbit's like our little pal it's like we live in a Disney movie or something Anyway, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it. So please have yourself a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see us, okay? All right, it's a deal. Remember when we said we'd stay together now until forever. Just us, just us. Said we wouldn't be like all the others Fight and hurt each other Not us, not us But we let each other down, 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 down Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down This shouldn't be I vlog wherever I go. I usually will take my camera.